Hello, one of the questions we get asked a lot is, do you have a list of all of your blank items? A lot of times people will call and they'll want to know, uh, or they'll want a list of all, for example, the movies that we have. We don't actually have those lists just sort of lying around, but there are ways that you can pull them up using the advanced catalog search. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're in the advanced catalog search system. We're going to ignore this for right now. And for example, movies is one that we get asked about a lot. So I'm going to show you how to generate a list of all of the movies at a specific library. So under item type, we're going to scroll all the way down to video recordings. Select that under search library. Um, you can say with Jefferson County if you'd like, but if you want to just know your specific home library, you would select that either Arnold, Northwest or Windsor. So we will select Northwest. And then under sort by relevance, it's useful um, to have them alphabetized. Or a lot of people want an alphabetical list. And so we can do that here under title A to Z. And we're going to go ahead and exclude electronic resources just because that's not what we're, what we're looking for right now. So again, all you need to do is go to the advanced catalog search system. You're going to highlight video recordings under item type. You're going to select your home library or again, you know, whatever parameters you want it to search. And then we're going to sort them title A to Z just for convenience. And we're going to search again. We're not going to worry about any of these fields. We're going to see what it gives us. All right, so you can see right away we've got a list of 7,000 items. They're all going to be at the Jefferson County Northwest system, and they're going to be arranged A to Z. Now we're going to start with the numerals. So that's, that's how that works. Um, but this is, in effect, a list of all of the uh, DVDs, that's, and it's going to give you, um, you know, you'll see here we have some nonfiction, we have some adult, we also have some juvenile. If you want to go back to your original search, you can sort of filter those down a little bit. At least, um, for example, you could select juvenile or adult, and that would give you all of the kids' movies and all of the adult movies. Um, another sort of thing that um, is useful is this publication year button. So if we select this, and let's say, um, let's go between. Let's say I only want, I want a list of all the movies the library's gotten for the past, like, uh, two or three years. So let's say from between 2018 and 2020. Okay, so now we're telling it, again, video recordings, Northwest, A to Z. But now we're telling it to only give us items that came out between the years 2018 and 2020. And so if we run that search, and let's see what we get. All right, so now we're getting we're, we're see we're getting much fewer results. Um, but these are going to be items that came out within those parameters that we included. That doesn't necessarily always mean that. For example, the movie came out that year, um, especially if it might have been a reissue or something like that. Um, but you, you will be able to see the items that um, are more recent, which, and again, they're arranged A to Z. So again, these are just some easy tools to use to generate lists. I, the example I used was video recordings, but you can do that with um, you know any of the items here to generate either a list of what's most um, contemporary, or if you just want a giant list of everything that you can uh, go through and browse at your leisure.